Hey, greetings, programs. Let's talk about Arion, Legacy of Cory Odon. This is a fantasy role-playing action-adventure game, and it's created by Madiba Oliver, developed and first published in Cameroon, that's Africa, kids, by Kira O Games, and this stems back to 2003, when the game was originally going to be made as like a top-view Final Fantasy game, and then fast forward to 2013, where they decided to turn it into a side-scrolling action-adventure game that is very heavy with, I don't want to say RPG elements, this is an RPG that just uses an action system to dole out its combat and travel mechanics. And the first things you're going to notice, uh, should this game make it through its Kickstarter, that's the other reason this video is being produced, Madiba actually reached out to me with this demo copy that you're watching on screen, asked me to help showcase it, you know, if I dug it, he wanted me to be honest, <laughs> if I dug it to share it with my audience, to let you guys know that this is coming, that it's on Kickstarter if you want to support it. Uh, and I think... One of the things that makes me inclined to support something like this is it's coming from a place where video games are not the thing yet. But video games have become so prolific that now we have developers in Africa making video games. To me, that's huge. It, it's definitely a plus when the hobby, the passion that we love so much is starting to see action literally all over the world. And that's one of the things, I mean, obviously you don't want to support a game just because it comes from a place where games don't come from. You want it to be quality. But I think over time, you know, once the demo works out, some of the kinks that we'll get into here in a second, I think it's definitely a playable game. I mean, for starters, for those of you that like story in your RPGs, this story is not only very interesting, it's very well written you know you i was enthralled you know i'm not usually a big story guy in rpgs and i will say that for a guy like me it's very story heavy like i found myself wanting let's get to the action i don't need to keep reading these dialogue screens and admittedly i skipped a bunch of stuff like i didn't walk around town and talk to everybody um but if you're into that it's very good it just depends on the type of player you are and then you've got beautiful visuals like it's all hand drawn and the color the use of lighting, it's really, really dope. Like I was actually surprised that this game looks as good as it does, simply because it's coming from a place that's not known for making you know, video games. And it looks better than a lot of other indie titles that are out there right now. And then there's the combat, you know, action, obviously you're side scrolling, but it also has, it has North and South and East and West. Think of a game like Final Fight. Uh, but when you enter into combat, at least the combat that I've been in thus far, it is all just straight linear. It's not like Final Fight where you move up and down to fight, but you do move up and down and side to side inside the world when you are traversing it. And combat is almost Street Fighter-esque in that there's all these different button combinations that you can pull off. It's all fairly intuitive. But if you're a dummy like me and you forget stuff and don't memorize things very easily, there's actually prompts on the screen that tell you this is how you pull off this move, this is how you pull off this special move, if you will. So it all comes together really nicely. Some of the later battles are a little bit more challenging in terms of remembering that you've got to break this person's guard by using a particular type of move and then replenish your stamina because that went down when you used the move. So there's a lot of moving pieces. For those of you who enjoy a complex combat system that's not just button, button mashing over and over and over again, I think you'll be, you know, moderately to heavily impressed with what they've been able to pull off given the resources that they have. Now, on the critique side, and this is just kind of for your awareness, and keep in mind that this is a demo that I'm playing, so a lot of this could be worked out in the final version. Uh, I may reach out to Mediba to find out if that's the case, but there's a lot of load times in the game. Specifically, I think the load times that are the most challenging to deal with are the ones that come up before you enter battle. Like the first battle I went into, I think the load screen had to have been about 10 seconds long where you finish the dialogue where the guys are about to attack you and then, you know, the screen just spins and spins and spins and spins and then eventually the battle starts. You get in there and it's fun, it's fast paced, but there are some load time issues. Again, this is something that I imagine like, as a creator myself, I know where all of my flaws are when I create something. So I know that they know these load times are in here and that they're a little bit long. I imagine that they're working behind the scenes to square that away. Now, obviously, I can't guarantee that. But me being a creator and knowing, you know, what my audience looks for in a video, I know certain things to put in and certain things to leave out. These folks being video game developers that have been in the game for 12 years, 
they're going to know what video gamers are looking for and know that these load times are a little bit hard to deal with. But I don't want to harp on that. That's just, I want to give you the objective feedback, not just give this glowing praise. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the game. But it's intuitive. Knowing where you're supposed to go and accomplishing tasks is, is pretty squared away. There's also, interestingly enough, a heavy platforming element, which for me as a player is tough for me to get into because I really don't like platformers. But again, it's intuitive. And there's almost a, I don't necessarily want to call it a puzzle feel to the platforming but it almost feels like maybe not a puzzle maybe more like a rhythm game like where you have to hit certain buttons to make certain jumps and there's prompts on the screen to tell you that you need to do that and then there's timing involved so that you don't get hit and knock back down the hill you're trying to jump up or the you know the wall jumps you're trying to make now me being terrible at platforming <laughs> it took me a very long time to pass that part of the game but that's just because platformers aren't my thing if, if you're into you know precision platforming uh that has kind of a rhythm to it i think it'll be fine one other thing i want to praise the game for is music music it's authentic to I, I don't necessarily want to say to the culture of Cameroon but what I know uh, what little I know of African music from being a percussionist and playing music uh, that's heavily influenced by African culture I can say that it stays true like even to the types of beats and the time signatures and the fact that some of the beats are hitting on the two instead of on the one like that's authentic to a lot of latin uh and what i know of latin and african music and it's here and it sounds great and it ebbs and it flows great with the combat it may be slightly different to somebody who's not familiar with that type of music but once you get into it it's like wow and not only is it you know i'm, I'm kind of geeking out as a music geek but it's actually really good like the music sounds good so anyway, if this sounds interesting to you, I'm going to encourage you to check out their Kickstarter page. Uh, I'll have links to that in the description so that you can get access to that. You can read more about the game, see if this sounds like something that's going to be up your alley. I really like the characters in the game, very endearing. Uh, I like the fact that you know, you're, you're playing as a young prince who is to become king and he's dealing with the struggles of the insecurities of not knowing if he's up to the task but his wife has his back but she's also his partner in the battles like it just that part to me is so dope it's adult you know what i mean like that's what i look for in adult games not these angsty teenagers that are awkward and can't talk to girls but there's a love interest like in japanese role-playing games no you start off the love of your life is in the fight with you I think that's so dope. That's something else I wanted to praise the game for. Anyway, check out the Kickstarter if this, again, sounds interesting to you, something that you want to check out. I've rambled on long enough, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you can be a part of us having a positive impact on everybody that watches this channel, yourself included. As always, friends, it's a pleasure to serve you. Remind you to be excellent to each other because we are stronger than I. Love you guys, man. See you on the next video.